Hey, hello guys. And here I finally received the replacement parts. It's a whole sensors. Uh, technically speaking, it's the same model because all parameters are exactly the same. The only difference is the packaging. So this one is uh, HW300A and this one HW330. But those are still available on the DGK. So that was the main reason to buy them. So the next step, I will remove these two hole sensors and install these guys, trying to make sure that I will set the pins correctly. And then we will measure what will, will be changing. So see you after I will solder these guys. Well, guys, so I compared these two parts. So the original HW300A and this new HW322B. Okay. So the parameter specs are exactly the same. Uh, what's the spinning? So this one goes one, two, three, four. So in circle. This goes one, two, three, four. However, when I compare in the pinion, so input one plus three minus one plus three minus fine. Then output two plus four minus and here two minus four plus. So what I did, I'm actually uh, reverse it number two and number four. So number four went up here to the position of two, okay? And number four here is remaining number two here. And that's how I'm installed. So you may see yourself, okay? Next, let's me assemble and let's see if it will work at all. Okay? And what parameters we may get. See you soon. Hey guys, good news, both rotates, both rotates same direction. So that means this one is replaced, this one is the old sensors. Okay, so probably next step, I will assemble and measure one and flutter and see how it's improved. And if it's really improved, I will replace on the second. It's a little bit more work for me, but at least it will be more predictable. Or maybe I will just replace the other one and then assemble everything. So, so far it works. I don't expect there are any changes. See you soon. Okay, guys, and here I'm measuring uh, with these new sensors. Diagram is even worse than it was before. Let me check the other transistor. And picture is the same. So there's a power adjustment from the speed control board. You see there is minor fluctuations. Here is a sensor signal. See, everyone more bikes currently works differently than I would expect. And here is the output from transistor to the coils. Okay, so it's just crazy. This schematic is absolutely wrong. In Japanese uh, decks, they use it uh, op amp to isolate, uh, like uh, to make sure that uh, whole sensor will be loaded to the uh, high resistance load, and op amp will operate with transistors, and op amp has low resistance output. 
so it would be easy to operate by transistors. And in this case, like transistors are directly loaded to the whole sensors, and depending on the whole sensor's uh, capacity <laughs> to run it, I'm not sure what numbers I will get. I will install sound boards now and we'll try to see if it gets even worse than it was before. Okay, because my every upgrade it gets worse and I don't like the schematics. So let's see. See you soon. Hey guys. And here I'm measuring one flutter. And I just upgraded one motor. And you see the change yourself. It gets even worse as I predicted. It's currently 0.85%. Wow. With my first change, first replacement, uh, when I just, like, originally it was 0 0.11. It's, it's way too high for the direct drive motors. I was able to hear it on piano notes that it's, it's not clean enough. Then I replaced the transistors. And as you've seen, it's get like 0.2%. Right? And now I just replaced it whole sensors. Exactly same model, same technical parameters, nothing changing, and it jumps to 0 0.78. Or it's, it's how it's, uh, it's maybe like uh, magnetic fields affect sensors a little bit differently. Because like uh, they are sits in position and only magnetic field from the motor from the capstan itself is uh, making those different levels of fluctuations. And as you've seen on the oscillogram, those in amplitude, they are pretty fine. It just cannot handle this schematic, which is directly coupled uh, the load from the sensors uh, to the transistors even without current limiting resistors. And if you will look into any Japanese deck, they did it right. They decoupled and they decoupled uh, sensors to make them connected to op-amp to make sure that this will be connected to the high resistance load and will not be experiencing problems because of that. And then output, it's a low resistance output from the op-amp is connected to the transistors to operate them. In this case, it just wow. I, it's the only the only thing I I, I, I just thinking about like uh, I just need to completely change schematic of these motors to make them running well, and it's ridiculous. Okay. I have read people trying to adjust pin rollers, select proper size, like minimum changes, proper tension. I did everything. It, it doesn't help, really. It's it may affect a little bit. But as you may see here, it just goes up and down, and it's, it's weighted. If I quasi peak is is more than one percent. It's just crazy. Let me open schematic, and in a second I will show you what I mean. Hey, and uh, here is what I mean. Take a look here. All sensors directly connected to the base of transistors, which are loaded to the coils. And if sensor don't have enough current to make it open fully, we would see those difference level of the field. And like it's mean like if sensor is maybe not close enough to the magnetic field produced by the motor by the magnet on the capstan or is like magnetic fields is like uh, change it over time or whenever different levels will mean like this it may open or may not open transistors fully and this transistor are supposed to open fully and work in the uh, key mode when right? they're fully open and fully closed right 
And the only difference here, speed. So DAX sends the speed and changes voltage here, which are changes the amplitude for these transistors when they're fully open, fully closed. All right, and that's a good deck example. So there's hole sensors through resistors loaded to the op-amp, output from op-amp from through resistor loaded to the transistors to make them produce a variable voltage to load the coil. That's a proper schematic. That is how it should look like. To work properly. So you see two outputs are connected to the inputs. So you see 3.9 kilo ohm to 680 ohm. So they connected one to the ground, one to the power. And it's just like these two outputs, they are works in uh, opposite phase. So this means that this op-amp will open and close and produce sinusoidal signal here. It will differentiate between these two and produce sinusoidal here, which will open and close these transistors and it will supply power to the coils. That's the proper way. I'm not sure why Revox did it, but that's the problems which we observing, and I have read so many complaints on the forums. Uh, the decks don't keep the face, no, not not face. Don't don't have good warm and water, and like um, Japanese decks has zero point zero three, I mean zero point zero twenty two percent weighted warm and water, as this deck original was zero point zero nine. Imagine difference. So poor design. I'm not sure why everybody thinks that these decks are good design. I disagree. As an engineer, I disagree. All right. Now I have more thoughts. What I have to do. I have to change schematic of this deck. Rewire the coils. Make sure that it will work and. Uh, additionally, I learned uh, the coils here. Each coil consists of two parts. If you will look here, each of this coil has two independent wiring. Each of them. One is connected to the one shoulder, other is connected to the other shoulder. And this will like reduce magnetic field produced by this coil. So if you will reconnect them, make sure that we will have two coils here, two coils here, and have magnetic field work exactly the same way as here. So it will not only go into one direction, but will go into two directions. That's when it will produce a good results. It is good and stable one flutter. And you would not be able to so easily stop the motors. So it's not so easy now as it was originally. It's already much better after I replace transistors and sensors. Initially it's just like a little bit touch and they stop. But it's still not there where I like them to be. This deck, I believe, can produce 0 0.02, 0.03% with this large capstans and good bearings. So it, it should work much better. Uh, let me think about it uh, because like, this may require some parts and some changes in the PCB. So, and I would not like to disconnect coils. So probably this will require lots of cutting of the traces. Uh, we'll see what I can do. See you. Bye-bye.